Hey guys, it's Joe with Broadway Limited Imports. In this video, we're going to talk about the Go Pack. So, first off, what is the Go Pack? It is a power continuity capacitor pack. Uh, ours has a plug for certain decoders. And that's just a long form for saying it's a battery pack. You could look at it as a rechargeable battery for your model. So, as your train goes through, uh, dirty spots on your track or troublesome frogs or switches or any type of pickup issue uh, the go pack is a, an eloquent solution to troublesome areas uh, some people just simply don't want to clean their track as regularly as they should or they can't reach an area on their track for cleaning as often as they should so this go pack is going to keep your lights sound and movement running through areas where it would otherwise stop and go dead so our go pack can be plugged into decoders that are revision h and above and the way that you can tell whether or not you have a revision h board installed or not is uh, probably anything that was manufactured in 2020 if the date is stamped on the inside of the lid on your model's box uh, if it says accepts go pack or go pack ready on the outside of your box it's a revision h board and so if you don't have a revision h board you have probably a revision e board uh, or lower that doesn't mean that you can't use the go pack it just means you have a couple of options where you're either going to need to solder the go pack onto the revision E or lower decoder board, which is covered in another video, or you can send in your revision E board to us for a fee. It'll be at the time of this video, uh, January, 2020, we have a $20 shipping, handling and processing fee for domestic customers. It's $35 for international customers. And you can send in your older Paragon 3 board. It has to be working, has to be revision E or lower. And then we will take that in exchange for a revision H board, program it accordingly, and send it back to you. And that $20 fee would cover all the shipping, handling, and processing. Uh, you can send your model in and have us install a go pack for you including the rev h board if your paragon 3 doesn't have the rev h board already uh, at the time of this video that would be uh, 89 dollar fee for the work plus the 29.99 for the cost of the go pack you can fill out the online form uh, when you go to our website at the top you're going to click on support and then email technical support and fill out your request that way. Another question might be, can I use this Go Pack on my other models that are not manufactured by Broadway Limited Imports? We have no experience with that. We cannot guarantee any compatibility with it. Uh, and it's not covered um, in our how-to video. That's not the purpose of the Go Pack. It's mainly for use with Broadway Limited Imports models. Um, the models that we've manufactured that this won't work with would be the Blue Line series of engines, the PCM uh, brand that was equipped with Loke Sound, or the older QSI equipped Locos. Uh, the Go Pack is not for those. Just Paragon 2 and Paragon 3. So the first thing we're going to demo here is the Go Pack in action. I've got an NCE system hooked up. And this switch here is a toggle switch whereby that's going to give power to the rails from my NCE system. And that is effectively killing power to the rails. And we can simulate a dead spot with that switch. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, let's give it some throttle. The capacitors in the Go Pack can take up to four to five minutes to fully charge but you will see results within 30 seconds from putting it on the rails. So the engine's rolling along and let's say you hit a dead spot. 
the engine is continuing to move with lights and sound then it stops you still have lights and sound and after a certain amount of time the capacitors will discharge and the local will finally lose all lights sound and movement so the amount of time that you have before the capacitor is fully discharged is going to vary from model to model and that's because some models use more energy than others for example if you have a smoke unit that's going to draw a lot more power than a diesel that doesn't have a smoke unit now the advantage between using a go pack with the revision h board and the plug-in type versus a revision e or lower or if you have to solder the go pack onto a paragon 2 board is that programming track reading and writing cds in paged mode and or direct mode can be problematic with the GoPack. And this is because on some systems, such as the NCE, the program track is going to be constantly powered up. And the capacitors in the GoPack are going to absorb that power. And that can interfere with the packets of data that are being sent to the rails, the bits and bytes, the square waves, the electricity that's going to your program track. Uh, some systems like Digitracks power on the rails while you're reading or writing a CV and then power them back off. And so you might have more consistent success reading and writing CVs on a Digitracks program track as opposed to an NCE. The Revision H board that has the socket for the Go Pack will allow you to set some CVs that will disable the Go Pack for programming track purposes. After programming is completed and you move it back to the main line, you can enable the Go Pack with CV221 on the main line. So if you have the solder point installation of the Go Pack and you need to read and write CVs on a program track that continuously powers a program track such as NCE, you may need to install an on off switch on the leads of the Go Pack or at least one of the leads on the go pack to break the circuit and then switch it back on to re-enable the circuit or you can unplug the go pack from its socket if you haven't soldered to the go pack and then read and write CVs as needed on the program track plug it back in button everything back up and move back to the main line now another CV worth mentioning is CV11 CV11 will determine how long the model keeps moving during an interruption in power. Again, this will vary based on the power consumption of the loco and how long the capacitors have been charging. So for example, if I set CV11 to a value of 12, so I'm doing CV11 equals 12 on the main line, and I'm rolling at speed step 1, I'm going to remove power and we had about four or five seconds of movement before the model stopped although the lights and sound were continuing after that for another few seconds if I were to set CV11 equals 1 we should see a shorter distance of movement okay so once again I'm at speed step one power is removed and the model almost immediately stops probably one second of movement thanks so much for watching we hope you enjoy and happy railroading